This video will show how to make scientific graphs on Google Sheets. So the first step is to take the data and set it up as a table. Now for Google Sheets you'll need to put the data that goes on the x-axis towards the left on the left side and the data on the y-axis on the right. So then we highlight the data and include the headings so that it will provide labels automatically. Go to insert then go to chart. Now you'll see there's a number of options. For scientific graphs we can go over here to chart types and typically we use, we use scatter graphs for scientific graphs. Sometimes there may be exceptions. We may do a few column graphs and a few other types but to compare relationships between two variables ideally we use a scatter graph for that. Now we're going to be changing a number of options for this. So if we go over to customization, we can change the title. The title should be whatever's on the y-axis versus whatever's on the x-axis. And so it labeled it uh, correctly in this case. But if we needed to change that, we can edit it here. We can make modifications to the legend as well. And we can do a, a number of other edits. We might need to edit the horizontal and the uh, vertical axis labels. So if we need to do that, we just click here and it will give us options on what we need to change, whether we want to select the verti vertical or the horizontal axis, and we can just type in what we need there. We can also change the maximum and minimum values. So for instance, if rather than going to zero, if I wanted this to start at one, then I can change that. Or if I want this graph to go to like 20, then I can adjust the uh, ends there. But it will auto size to, ma to maximize the range uh, between the highest and lowest uh, points. We can also adjust grid lines if we would like to have more lines, for instance, we could uh, increase those. And one of the common things that we do in scientific graphs is we add trend lines. So that option is down here at the very bottom of the customization screen. So click on this button here and choose the appropriate relationship. This is a linear relationship, of course, so we click linear. And when we have a trend line, it's often helpful to put the equation in. So if we go down to the next button where it says label and click that tab, there's an option to use the equation. And so it just put the equation in now uh, for the, um, in the legend. And so that's in slope intercept form, y equals 0.5, there's the slope right here, times x plus b, which is the y-intercept. Uh, there might be an option uh, on occasion where we may want to show an r-squared value as well. This is a way of uh, displaying how, how well the data matches a straight line or a correlation factor there. And uh, so this, of course, is a perfect straight line. So it's, it's a one R squared value. The closer that value is to one, the more uh, accurate or closer it is to a straight line relationship or linear relationship. All right, so we can go to insert. And so now we have our graph set up. If we want to make any more edits, we can click this down arrow and go to advanced edit and then we can bring up that same screen that we were just on where we can change the chart type if we want. Um, say I want to change it to a bar or a line graph or customize these other things. We could bring up that same screen that we were just on that way. Uh, so typically at this point then um, you, you might share this file and uh, with the appropriate e email. Now, if you need to add more on here, we can add, bring up a new sheet. So we can add those to new sheets down here at the bottom. 
And so let's try a graph with several data points. Uh, so if you have more than one uh, data set that you want to put on the graph, you'll want to put the x value or x values first. And then if there's more than one y value that matches, we're going to label them um, next to the x values. So then we do the same process. We highlight, go to insert, go to chart, and we'll need to select the correct chart type. And so we see now that it has basically set it up automatically as we want here with the mass and the volume. Now I don't really want it to say mass and grams of item A, so I'm going to go in and edit that. So either click here or right, right click on the graph and go to advanced edit. And so I'm going to go down to the vertical axis and I'm going to delete this item A. So it just says mass and grams. And I want to add trend lines for both of these lines as well. So down at the bottom, um, let's select which series I want to add it for. So right now I'm selecting item A, the blue one. And so I want to add a trend line, linear trend line, and display the equation on the chart. So label use equation. And so there we go. Now I have my trend line for those, uh, these data. And so then I can do the same thing here for item B and add the trend line and then display the equation as well.